also with this tension between this notion of immersion and isolation, which again, thinking about our media and broadcast business is a key one to grapple with in the advent of AR and VR. Immersion is all about getting closer to the entertainment we love or the information that we need, literally stepping into stories, onto stages, or conjuring them up on our coffee tables. But by its very nature, immersion also requires devices that remove us from reality and those that we share it with. Un aspecto muy importante para la realidad aumentada es garantizar la seguridad, porque altera la forma como percibimos el mundo real que nos rodea. Imagínate que no puedes ver un camión que se acerca o ves el semáforo en verde mientras en realidad es de rojo. New forms of reality hold the promise of redefining ourselves and living out experiences as these better versions of ourselves in worlds that might ultimately prove to be more alluring than the one we were dealt. Una forma de mitigar el problema del aislamiento en experiencias inmersivas puede ser fomentar y facilitar interacciones con personas reales. Pero para eso necesitamos dispositivos que son capaces de captar y transmitir matices humanas. Y también necesitamos una masa crítica de usuarios que utilizan estos aparatos de forma diaria. Sin embargo, los dispositivos que vemos en el horizonte no son capaces de esto. The key will be ensuring a balance between being an avatar in a virtual world with virtual friends and ourselves in the real world with real friends whose relationships with us are always going to be messy by default. So how do we facilitate opportunities to be social and meaningful rather than just synthetic ways?